The final leg of the journey has begun. Inside the expansive cemetery, Jack delves deep into a demonic neighborhood that lies within. Filled with monsters, gargoyles, and the spirit of the dead. Jack meets with the architect, an agent of the devil sent to deliver Jack to the wizard's destination with the power of the seven deadly sins, long since plugged by humanity's virtuous knights. Destroying six of the idols, restricting the power of the sin, Jack slays the embodiment of gluttony itself to unseal the power of the sins, the greatest force of evil known throughout history. Using his great magic and the sin's power, the architect constructed a portal to the far, far north, where the wizard now attempts to unlock the secrets of the amulet to usurp the devil's power. Time is certainly running out for Jack and his companions. If they cannot traverse the harsh and bitter north, the wizard's final defenses against the darkness, then he will fail in his mission. Welcome back to more Pumpkin Jack. Last time we traversed the cemetery in search of the wizard. However, we didn't find him, but we did meet an agent of hell, the architect, and we uh, released the seven deadly sins into the world to find a way to get to where the wizard really is, which is apparently the Great White North. We also got, I wouldn't say another bad weapon that uh, we get in our arsenal. Honestly, I kind of like this one. Uh, I'd say this is probably my fourth favorite weapon yeah actually no it actually would be more more my third favorite weapon because it, it's shotgun spear uh this sword shovel and then of course the garbage ass sight but yeah uh let's see the architect gave you a new spell during the loading screen try it I will in just a minute because I needed to go over the fact that I decided to go and plaid up to the Great White North so that way we would be nice and warm going through here. Now, going over the weapon that we got here, basically, uh, I, I like to just call this the Murder of Crows because the Architect gave us the ability to duplicate Crow. And while it doesn't really duplicate Crow, we can create multiple Crows uh, out of Dark Magic that can... Have a pretty short range to it, but at the same time, it, it's good for protecting yourself if you find yourself getting surrounded. Plus, it actually has, like, the longest in terms of, like, the dodge roll attack. Where it's just, like, dodge roll, summon it, and then you can just move around as crows attack from all directions. The drop down attack for it is just basically a dive attack. Although, I do like the effect of Jack getting crow wings on his back because it's a really, like, a nice little effect that they decided to give to him. But yes, we're here in the Great White North to find out where the wizard truly lies, although it looks like we found ourselves in like some sort of mining town or Viking encampment. It honestly just looks like something you'd see out of like uh, Valhalla or something like that. Anyways, uh, ow, what do you got to say? You didn't say anything last time. Well, if it isn't, isn't this a sight? Are you all right? You look half frozen. It's freezing out here, bird. When that stupid architect said we were going north, I didn't think he meant all the way north. Woohoo! I suppose the wizard wanted some privacy. Uh. How are you not an owlsicle? Woohoo! I'm exuberant, f f felicious. I'm Pump Jack. This is it. Even further north from here, the wizard is channeling the power of the amulet. This is the last chance to take that runt down, Jack. If I don't freeze solid and shatter first. Woohoo! Think warm thoughts, Jack. All right, fine. Here's a warm thought. I destroy you. All right, let's get a move on. You know what they say. If you find yourself getting cold, just always keep moving to keep yourself warm. Since there's snowmen coming up, Jack, put those creeps on ice. Now, I feel like putting these guys on ice would probably just strengthen them. Oh, why would we want to do that? No one said that it would be this cold in the north. All right, time for another combat segment. Now, the snowmen here are, I would say, probably the most dangerous out of all the sort of, like, tower enemies that you face. Like, you got the little skulls on the sticks of deadheads. You got the gargoyles. But these guys, they have a rapid fire, and they got a pretty fair amount of health to them. So you want to be careful fighting these guys. We got our first crow skull. And before we head off towards where the wizard is, as you can see... There's not one, but two crow skulls over here, but the one over there is black, which means that we got another combat challenge ahead of us. 
Let's just jump over here and grab this crow skull, jump down here, and let's go beat up some deadheads to grab ourselves another one as well. That it? Yep, there we go. Actually, probably should grab some health while we're right here. Okay, good. There we go. Just want to cap myself off. Alright. Well, now I can't beat up the snowmen around here, or at least, well, the ones that are, aren't attacking me, because, well, they are now finally in season. So instead, I see a knight over there with a rifle aimed right at my gourd, so I think we should probably go take our anger out on him. Right after a drink, of course. Fork in the road. Which way, Jack? Left or right? I say we go right. Mostly because I hear chirping, which is right here. So, I guess I was wrong uh, last time when I said that we don't really fight the knights a whole lot. We only fight them for, like, one level because they've been showing up quite a bit in the past couple of levels. You're using my magic bridges? Lack of brains and lack of manners must go hand in hand. Hey, you left them here for us. Why else would I use them? Actually, wait, hold on. Okay, I thought I was hearing more chirping. It's just like, it, there couldn't be a skull right here. We've been getting way too many way too fast. But I think it was that was just like the background noise that we were hearing for the music. Which, I gotta say, out, out of like all like winter theme level music that you would hear, this has probably gotta be like the most calming and serene out of all of them. Well, it doesn't matter if these things are solid or not. We're literally floating right above it, Crow. Plus, you're flying, so... But yeah, I, I really do find this to be like one of the most calming tracks in games uh, as of late to play because just it, it's just so nice just to listen to the, the sounds of these bells, the, the chimes, all that stuff. It kind of reminds me like something out of like the winter season of Harvest Moon or Stardew of all things. Oh, oh not, not this combat. Oh, jeez. Ooh, yeah, these these snowmen suck. Ooh. Ooh. Well, we cut it close, but we still managed to not get killed from that one. In fact, I'm gonna do a little deforestation right here just to get some health back because, geez, I knew the snowmen were annoying. I really did, but I didn't realize that how annoying they were, because I guess my mind just sort of blocked out the memory of fighting these guys. Who knows, maybe this is their vengeance against me for all the times I beat up snowmen out of season. This is like, oh, guess who's out of season now? You're chirping. I'm pretty sure it's at the very top of this tower, like literally at the very top. Yeah, that sounds to be the case. Yep, right up there that I completely missed them. <sighs> Sometimes flying is a curse and not a blessing. I mean, it also doesn't help the fact that I started burning this tower to the ground, but still. There we go. Finally got our, what, six crow skull? Yes, yeah, six. Oh, 
upgrade another snowman. I'm not ready to fight this guy yet. Okay, now I am. Alright, so we got knights over there. We got a bridge over here. Let's open up the bridge real quick. that bridge. Turn that one off because I think we need to have it turned off. Human soldiers this far north, they must be protecting the wizard. Ah, well, they'll fall just the same. Also, Crow, you're a bit late on this one. We've been fighting humans for quite a bit through the north. Forget about those snipers that we just fought, or the one that we literally killed not too long ago. Give me that skull. There we go. Oh, and I see another one. Always good to keep an ear out, even though this one doesn't hide them through, like, fog and stuff as good as the last couple of levels have. I uh, they're, they're still hidden in a lot of, like, nooks and crannies that you can easily uh, skip if you are not paying attention to what's going on around you. How nice of the wizard to set up these bridges for us. I hate to be rude, but I'm not taking visitors. Oh, wait. Aw, but it's the holiday season. Where's your Christmas cheer, wizard? Nice and warm. Alright. Almost halfway done with the skulls. And there's our halfway point right there. Uh, before we do that, is there anything around here? No, it just things to break for uh, health. And I do see the merchant over there, so we'll have to pay him a visit. You. Those trees look sharp, Jack. Keep your distance as they spin. Eh, don't mind me. I don't mind doing a little tree trimming during the holidays. Yeah, the trees, they're, they're, they're not... Uh, tough, to be honest. Uh, I, I like the design of them, and the fact that we're literally being attacked by the, the spirit of Christmas, uh, just Christmas trees, even decked out in lights, trying to kill us. And the attack pattern kind of reminds me of like, something out of like, a Banjo-Kazooie enemy. But they're really easy to take care of. They're honestly not a threat. I'd rather uh, believe that the, the snowmen that we've been fighting are a bigger threat than those uh, Christmas trees are, because have you seen those things? Jeez. Back out of the way. Knock, knock. Anybody home? Oh, a present for me. With a wizard's last line of defense, you shall not pass. Really? Just the, what, four of you? Wow, that is a pretty pathetic last line if you ask me. Christmas is canceled, by the way. Hmm, I kind of thought that would have a bit of a bounce to it. Oh, there is more of you. Alright, probably should take care of the snipers first before we go after the tree and knights. All too easy. Oh, and would you look at that? A present for me. <laughs> Who's there? <gasps> Santa? Is it really you? I'm gonna go see you in just a second. I first I need to go talk to my merchant friend over here. Well, not friend, but a associate. Ah, Jack, my friend, welcome. I can't get away from you, even in the North Dang Pole. How are you even? How do you even stand it here? I was already dried. Now I'm freeze dried. Ugh. So this is it, huh? This is the final showdown. 
Looks like it. Heh. <laughs> Sounds like a good excuse to splurge on a fancy skin. Even at the end of the world, you're chilling out your outfits? What do you even use these crow skulls for? Awful things. More awful than digging up bodies and selling their skin? Yes, stop asking questions or look and look, or else you'll find out just how monstrous a monster can be. But you know what's really monstrous? These prices, am I right? Well, unfortunately, I've already bought all your wares except for the most expensive thing in your shop, but who knows, maybe I'll pay it a visit before we go to the final showdown. Let's make sure that we are good on health because we got a bit of a mini boss fight up ahead. Now this, well, while the vehicle segment is not as festive as one might think, you're not dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh with Jack in the game. The pumpkin head segment for this is actually going to make up for it. But before we do so, of course, we gotta go and, you know, introduce ourselves. It's only customary to do so, after all. Knock, knock. Ho, ho, ho. Who goes there? Oh, no. Santa Claus? The very same. Ho, ho, ho. That means you must be Jack and you've been very naughty. I can get a lot naughtier. Let us through, fat man. Ho, ho, ho. I don't think so. I've got my list, Jack, and you're right at the top. I'm warning you. Let me through. And let you doom the world? And all the good boys and girls who live in it? Oh, 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 never! The wizard has given me just the magic to stop you, Jack. Oh, ha he has, has he? Well, Santa, come out here and stop me, then. Are you kidding? I've got toys to make. I'm far too busy to stop. So you'd rather make your toys than stop me from dooming the whole world? That's capitalism. <laughs> hmm, if you won't come out here, then I'll just have to go in there. All right. Pop goes the top. And I also kind of like that the music for Santa is literally just a remix of Jingle Bell Rock. Even Santa's on the wizard's side? Jack, are we the bad guys? Throw back his explosive presence and blow the workshop sky high. All right. Don't know how th this is uh, destroying uh, the workshop. We're just spreading a little holiday cheer. And isn't that what Christmas is all about? Granted, things are starting to get a little more shaky. This is it, Jack. Just keep going. You'll light this place up like a Christmas tree. I think every time you miss it, the actually the the meter down there goes down, so you do want to be pretty uh, fast with sending the right present through the right portal. Although sometimes you don't really have to worry about that because he just gives you three of the same type of present you need to send through. In fact, Santa's not even really doing anything; he's just back there making presents for all the good boys and girls of the world, which is why Jack has to ruin everything. Granted, we are dooming the world, but still. Now get out of there, Jack! Fire in the ho ho ho! Hooray! We killed Santa Claus! Oh, oh no, we killed Santa Claus. <laughs> that sudden realization when you just ended Christmas. That's better. Alright. These snowmen, gotta go. The rats, I don't really care about. But the snowmen, yeah, definitely. Ow. I would say probably this is the, the best time to utilize Crow is like combo him with the attacks or maybe like a dive attack towards the snowman. That way you can get the triple hits on because the snowman don't take a break from attacking you as you have found out. They are relentless in their attacks and they are really, really annoying. But hey, we got two Crow Skulls for our trouble so I'm, I'm in pretty high spirits. I see another one floating out up over the water. Let's make ourselves a little bridge to get across. Trim a couple trees. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, the trees are about to trim me if I don't stop uh, goofing off like this. And that should do it. Yep, there we go. 
Skull number 14. Huh. I don't know why it seems how we're really close to getting all the skulls for this level. I always thought that the North Pole was a lot longer of a level. Like, it really feels like the graveyard and uh, the swamp are the longest levels in the game. This one, it's actually been pretty fast going through this, which is kind of a shame that the final level is kind of short. Ah, well. Either way, we're dooming the world in the end. Uh oh Not if he has anything to say about it. Hmm. I don't trust that. Get some health back real quick before we cross that bridge. Anything hiding over here? Nope. Uh, uh, uh oh. Jack. Jack. Okay, there we go. Thank God we did not uh, glitch ourselves again. Granted, the first time we glitched ourselves was funny. That would have been really sad. Whoa. Let's redirect the flow of magic. And as you can see, sitting up there on that floating rock is our gramophone. So we're going to need to redirect the flow to head over to that island. And we did just that. All right. Time for one last spooky dance. I gotta say, that was probably the best out of all the dances. Music could have been a little bit better, but I, I was digging the moves that Jack was busting. All right, so we got a bit of a bridge puzzle right here. We got a lot, and I do mean a lot of totems that we need to d redirect the magic to. Oh no, the poor owls. Don't worry, I'll save you. Oops. Uh, I'm just gonna go this way. Redirect this tower right here. And uh, just forgive everything that just happened there. Yeah, we were supposed to... Oh, that's right. We need now to redirect this one to the Gramophone Island. And now we got a way through. Huh. I could have sworn that the, the, the island over there had a pathway up to it. It looks like it does. I see another crow skull sitting on top of that tower. This is skull number 15? 16? 16. Alright, now I believe we... No, that one cast it over here. get over there somehow. So I think what we needed to do was activate this. Yeah, that's what we had to do. I forgot that it wasn't uh, this one that cast it over there. It was that one right there. And now we made our way over to this island. That was a head scratcher, Jack. Eh, not really. I mean, it, it did have its moment, but honestly, it wasn't that hard of a puzzle. Oh, no. Not this guy again. I'm still not paying that fare, just to let you know. Ah, Jack, my least favorite customer. Oh, great. You again. Let me guess, you need to ride across, but you're not paying. 
And if I don't ferry you across, you'll do something violent. I'm so glad we have this special friendship of ours. Right, alright, get on. I know the drill. He's just so accepting of it at this point. However, this one is probably the hardest to do out of all of them. All aboard. Especially because I don't have my shotgun with me. Well, I do, but again, I'm giving my my weapons the time to light. And since the shotgun got its full level, of course, the Murderer of Crows has to get its full level as well. Alright. Here come the Bony Boys. Thankfully, just keep spamming the spell, and they will not hurt me because, well, I got perfect coverage all around me. Okay, mostly around me. Perfect. There we go. But I don't have a hat. Oh boy. Oh boy. A uh, bit awkward to pull off. Uh -oh. Alright, get some health back up. Jump over here real quickly because you don't really get a whole lot of time for that one. And more skeleton ghosts coming this way. Jump ship. Ball up ahead. You'll have to find another way around. All right, fine. I'll just go this way then. Through this graveyard of wreck ships. How's yours doing, by the way? Good? All right, cool. All right, I'm here. Just waiting on you to show up. Man, can you pedal that thing faster? Oh, boy. That is evil. You did that one on purpose, didn't you? This is where your journey ends. You really are Stingy Jack, but you're our only hope left. Huh, not even a crow skull for that. All right, whatever. Oh, no. No. Not more snowmen. I do see a crow skull back there. Or is that another? No, that is a crow skull. Oh, and a Christmas tree. How lovely. Oh, wait. Huh. Well, that could have gone better. There's a tower up there. So many soldiers, Jack. Time to. Well, I guess this wasn't the. Uh, the town wasn't the wizard's last line of defense. Apparently, this seems to be the last line of defense. Uh oh. Of course. Much like the sword, this is very floaty. Alright, just keep this. In between me. Oh, okay. I guess he can just shoot right through it then. Ow. Alright, you know what? I've had about enough of you. Pushing. Just keep moving forward. Now dodge! Ow, ow, ow. Jeez. Drop the bombs off. All right, time to run. Come on. 
Crow, you already used that one. Come on, come up with better material. Like, that really put him on ice, or... I got nothing else. That was a, that was a good win. Shut up. Alright. Got a portal up ahead, but before we jump through it... Ow. Got to go down here for a crow skull. And, you know, not die in freezing water. Yep. Number 17. You're using my portals now? Have you no decency, Jack? No. Do you forget who you're dealing with? Where have you been this entire game? No, seriously, where have you been? We were trying to find you. Keep hitting those skeletons that somehow found their way into this portal. Crow, 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 crow. Oh, what a rush. I need a drink after that one. Ah, much better. Jack, where the hell were you even going with that one? I want you to dive onto the skull pile. Not onto whatever the hell you dived onto, that candle down, down there. There we go. And you! Quiet. Too quiet. No, seriously, why is it so quiet? I kind of wish it was more quiet now. Looks like a workshop in the north? Oh, no. Oh, it's a good thing that Santa's dead. Otherwise, this might be uh, troubling. All right, you are the first to go. There you are. There we go. Huh. No skull for our troubles, though. Kind of disappointing, actually. In fact, is there anything back this way or no? I guess not. Alright then. You're the boss game. Oh boy. Oh, that's quite a jump there. Hmm. I hear chirping, but I see no glowing. I think it's actually on the other side of the workshop, to be honest. So, let's... Actually, no, we gotta knock on the door first. We gotta be polite. Ho, ho, ho! Not so fast, Jack. Santa? Didn't I kill you already? Why, yes. Yes, you did. And now you're on my super naughty list, Jack. I came up with it just for you. How did you survive the workshop? Uh, I'm magical, you idiot. I'm still recovering, but I can't stop working on these toys. I got a quota to fill. Ugh, capitalism. I know, right? Well, I put you down once, maybe I can do it again. Sounds like you need a break. And besides, it's still October! <laughs> I, I like the fact that after... Why can't this guy stay dead? We gotta kill Santa again. Quick, blow this place up again, that ought to show him. I like the fact that uh, Santa basically just became a force ghost for this uh, second fight with him. Is it seriously the same thing as last time? I guess so. I honestly 
thought I remember Santa fighting like back against you. Like he threw down like a present that was actually a bomb that would harm you. Guess I was just misremembering things. Uh, of course, that wouldn't be the first time I've done something like that. No, no siree. Kind of sad that he doesn't really put up a fight. This is honestly probably one of the easiest out of all the pumpkin challenges to do in the game. Oop. I say as I almost knocked the wrong present into there. I never thought I'd say this, but I can't believe we killed Santa Claus, let alone twice in one day. Ah, oh, don't worry, Crow. How about a skull of one of your fallen brethren to make you feel better? In fact, it's the final skull of your fallen brethren, so you gotta feel even twice as good now, right? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Here it is, Jack. I can feel the wizard's power. Oh, my feathers are getting ruffled. So this is it, huh? The wizard is on the other side of this portal? Yes, there's no doubt about it. He's just through there. It's practically gift wrapped for us. Yes, how kind of him to leave the portal open for us. This could be a trap. Trap or no trap, this is what you were here to do. You got a job to do, Jack, so get to work. Kill the wizard and doom the world. All right, if you say so. It's time to go spread a little holiday cheer and bring about the end of humanity. Ah, oh, what an adventure we've been on. From such humble beginnings of just walking through an abandoned farm to going through an abandoned mine to a somewhat abandoned swamp to a not so abandoned town to a also somewhat not so abandoned cemetery. And now, uh, a an, uh, self-made abandoned uh, North Pole. What a journey. What, what an adventure this has been. It's time I deal with you. I'll be waiting for you, Jack. This is a pretty snazzy outfit. Wonder where it came from. All right, it's time. The final showdown between us and the wizard. The devil's champion versus humanity's champion. So you are the great Jack. At long last we meet. Welcome to my humble abode. What is this place? A pocket dimension, my design. Here I can work in peace and yet you dare intrude. I'm here to smash your creepy little face in. Oh, right to business I see. Very well, not like it matters. This amulet is a dud. You might as well finish me. Uh, okay, I guess. Kind of takes the fun out of it. Heh, <laughs> fun, huh? You find um the same satisfaction in bloody murder as I do in study. And yet, despite my efforts, the amulet of Final Ember is still lost on me. At last line on the tablet, I wiped it clear just in case you ever got the amulet. Do you want to know what the last line said? The secret to the amulet? Go on. A pure human spirit. That's all it said. A pure human spirit. Is my spirit not pure enough? Have I not dedicated my life to humanity's betterment? Whoa, take it easy. You're one to talk, Jack. I suppose your spirit is pure, huh? No attachment to a real body. All loose and free in that stupid pumpkin. What are you going to do? Pull my spirit out and use it for your magic tricks? That's a good plan, as any. Now stay still, Jack. This is going to hurt. A lot. May this be the end of your infernal existence. I was about to say the same thing to you, you insignificant wrench. Don't you know the power I wield? Well, don't you know the power I wield? I have the power to summon crows. I spent my whole life learning and training and honing my magic skills, while I spent all my life spinning and rolling around on the ground. And yet it seems to do quite as just as good a job as any. You cannot imagine the kind of suffering I've endured. Oh, I, I might not know the suffering you've endured, but I know what kind of suffering awaits you as soon as I get my hands on you. All right, just dodge through the rings, kind of like clockwork. 
All my studies, all my experiments, I came from nothing, and now I'm the greatest wizard alive! Gotta keep breaking these old pylons before he can cast his master spell. There we go, last one. Let's go up and beat him up. Alright, there we go. Time for phase two. Dropping off some of the ground there. I always thought that was a shockwave attack that he does, but nope, it is just uh, him preparing his next wave. Keep dodging lightning, keep sending crew after the balls. Pretty easy to handle. Less tornadoes this time, actually um, about the same amount, just a lot less footwork to do. So just keep going in a circle, they'll never hit you. Just wanna make sure you don't accidentally fall to your death or hit one right in front of you. This one's actually a little bit tougher now, mainly because of the lighting, but also because of the fact that you also need to find the right footing to do so. In fact, more often than not, it's probably the safer bet to jump through it uh, when there's about like halfway up into the, into the sky. Another set of pylons coming out. There we go. All right. One more phase to go. You're the Devil's Pariah. Who even are you, Jack? You're nothing but a disappointment. I know you are, but what am I? Have you killed Santa Claus? Because I killed Santa Claus. Twice. Oh. Oh, God. Yeah, they do not give you a whole lot of room to dodge these tornadoes. In fact, I probably would say it's best to wait for it to hover over open space before you can uh, dodge it. That way you can get around it. Alright. That's it. You may be an all-powerful wizard. You may have the ability to create pocket dimensions. You may have phenomenal cosmic power. And you may have limitless magic at your fingertips. But you know what I have? A gun. No! Ah, uh, no! Impossible! Who do you think you are? I'm the Great Jack, and don't you ever forget it. You, you cur! What have you done? Curse you, Jack. Curse you, and curse this feeble world you will inherit. Huh. That's the whole point. He's... He's dead, Jack. You did it. That little menace is finally dead. For all that power, he was no match for you and me. Yes. All that power. What are you thinking, Jack? You got that look again. The amulet of final ember. And the pure human spirit. My spirit. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yes! Yes! I can feel the power. My power. The devil can wait. It's time I had a little fun. Yes, yes, now this is power! I'm like a king! I'm like a god! I am Jack! Victory at last! Victory for the underworld! Victory for the devil! And victory for the great Jack and his friends! Even with the likes of monsters, humans, and Santa Claus himself <laughs> standing between him and the Jack and his companions cut through their defenses and make their way to the heart of the north. The cold and bitter air does little to deter Jack from fulfilling his mission, as he finally reaches the final portal, where on the other side, the wizard has been shot and failed to unlock the amulet's power. Only releasing that Jack's pure human spirit is the final key to wielding the power of the amulet. The wizard confronts Jack in the flesh at last. As the legend predicted, the champion and the pariah join in their final battle of good versus evil. And evil trials. It's a long and arduous battle, and the wizard is powerful and cunning. 
faced against Jack's greatness, cunning and strength, the wizard falls at last. With his dying breath, he curses Jack and the world he inherits. Just in time for Jack to steal the amulet and take its power for himself, empowering the humble soul inside a pumpkin like a god. Returning to the devil's good graces after so many centuries, Jack is free to roam the monster-infested earth and powerful enough to destroy it. All just another day in the life of the great Jack. And that was Pumpkin Jack, ladies and gentlemen. A quirky, fun little platformer game, very in tune with the holiday season. And much like Costume Quest and all the other games that I've played for past Huntovers, it's definitely a game that I always see myself coming back to for future like Halloween playtimes. Because it, it really does just like capture that feeling of the holiday season. Well, maybe not just October. Of course, of course, that final level really does capture the holiday season of a different holiday. But still, not a whole lot of games do something like this where you just straight up play as the villain and you are just a villain for villain's sake. It's actually a nice change of pace to be honest. And something I like about these credits is the fact that it sh basically shows how the game evolved over time. Like apparently there, instead of the scarecrow we were going to fight back in the farm, we were going to fight uh, a haunted tree, there was going to be a spider boss, uh, this really cool armored jack outfit. A lot really did change in the time that this game was still in development to the final release of it. And I really quite enjoyed this quite a bit. I'm honestly, also, I'm also honestly surprised that it was able to get as much of the completion done in one run. Aside from like the town setting, we never had to go back to get any of the missing crow skulls or any of the gramophones. So all in all, I'm happy with this. I hope you all have a very happy and safe Halloween this year. Thank you for joining me on this wacky adventure, and I'll see you all in the next series. Take care, everybody.